Is that him? Well, I think he's just, you know, <clears throat> a really improved offensive player, um, you know, playing with great confidence and, and his efficiency tonight, um, you know, was phenomenal. I mean, you know, 13 makes on 17 shots is incredible. Uh, questions for coach? Something about Davis. He was uh, phenomenal for them. Yeah, I thought, um, you know, in the second half, he was he was just, you know, he dominated the basketball game, uh, got whatever shots he wanted, and um, you know, was, I mean, he played great. You know, he's a great player. He's got great quickness. He's, you know, his ten free throws. You know, I mean, they took thirty five foul shots. And, um, you know, it, it was phenomenal. Not really. I mean, I, you know, I think every player's got his own identity, his own style. We didn't have a lot of time to watch film, you know, because of back-to-back -back games. So, um, but he's, he's a great player. Um, Eric, what did you think of, of T Mark today? And then what did you, what did you say of that, that scary situation? I can't really game? hear you right now, Scott. Just uh, thoughts on T. Mark's game today, and then the scary situation toward toward the end. What like what do you know about his his health? Yeah, I mean, I, I won't know anything really until uh, you know until I get word from Doc. Um, so I don't have any real update on his on his on his health. Um, but he played you know phenomenal basketball. I mean, his offensive efficiency um, tonight was was really good. Um, what were they checking him for when he was down? on the floor. I'd rather not get into too much Scotty. I mean, it's his back, um, you know, not, not his neck or, or head, but it's his back. Um, last thing I think I've got two texts and a flagrant for TB this week. Do you talk to him about it, address it in some way? Yeah. I mean, we, we, uh, we watched film of it, uh, this morning. Yeah. It was addressed. Um, you know, today's was more of just kind of a basketball play. Um, Coach, maybe what's the the biggest question that you think needs to be answered from this group, or maybe your top concern as you go back home here? Well, Curtis, I think there's a lot of concerns. You know, um, maybe too many to to go through right now. Um, Coach, just what did what did you see from Layden this week? Maybe looked like he belonged on the floor a lot of the time he was out there this week. Yeah, I thought he played, um, you know, with confidence. He got minutes. I mean, obviously, we only had two double-digit scores tonight, and, and he was one of them. Um, we got to do a better job guarding Davis, though, than what we did in the second half, um, and that's everybody. Um, guys that are assigned to him, weak side help, all, all those things. And Layden, for you, just what what do you feel like you did well this week? And um Maybe you feel like you kind of grew up on on this stage. Um, I felt like I just things I did well just to bring energy. Um, I just tried to make the hustle plays and do the little things just to bring life, and just playing defense, just being a dog on defense and being active. Coach, I, I know you just said you know maybe a, a lot of things to to get into that you guys need to work on. Uh, what do the next few days look like for you? Obviously, three games in three days, but you got to. A few days later, you, you play Duke. Yeah, I haven't really decided what um, – I mean, obviously, we're not doing anything tomorrow. Um, might not do anything Sunday. Might have – really don't – you know, it's too too soon from a, from a three games and three nights ending. And then just curious what you thought about uh, Jeremiah Davenport, maybe the energy that he provided and, and just maybe the way he responded after not getting to play yesterday. Well, he had a minor injury yesterday and was in a boot um, all morning. Um, so that contributed to, um, they didn't really know what it was. He woke up with foot soreness that was point tender. Um, and when you're at a team meal and, you know, and it's for breakfast and, and someone's in a boot and, and, uh, you know, Dr. Hart came and talked to me and said that it was point tender and it felt better at game time. He was available, but saw no real reason if, if, uh, you know, if it hurt bad enough to, to put him in a boot.
Did you like what you saw from him today, though? Thought he played good. I mean, you know, we I mean we lost by fifteen, and um, you know we've now lost two in a, two in a row, and um, so we have you know there's a lot of lot of things that we've got to try to sort out. Uh, Coach, I think you guys held North Carolina to two of their last ten from the field to close the first half. What contributed to that, and then what changed, I guess, the second half that got their offense going? Baycott and Davis weren't in foul trouble. I mean, I'm just being honest. Those, you know, Coach Davis um, elected for them not to play with two fouls, and 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 he made a smart decision, and um, they, you know. They came back fresh too. Though both those guys played pretty significant minutes in the tournament, and and um, you know when they got you know when they weren't in foul trouble, which they weren't in the second half because Coach Davis, you know, didn't let either one of them pick up a third one. So that's that's why they went on a, on a big run. There, those two guys' offense was better than our defense. Harrison Ingram's post ups were too good. Um, you know, and then I thought that some of their guys, like, you know, seven Trimble, I mean, his two threes were, you know, were backbreakers when we tried to help a little bit. And, Layden, real quick, just thoughts on, on Tremont today, the game that he had? Um, I feel like uh, Tremont, he played really well today. Um, He really kept us going at times, you know, with his scoring and just his energy he brought um, just on both ends. Um, just kind of heartbreaking what happened at the end at the foul or the when he fell. But overall, I think he played pretty good today. Eric, you mentioned Ingram sort of playing out of the post and facilitating from the block at times. Like, does that just make a, a team more difficult to cover? I mean, that's a look that UNC's not really shown a lot already this season. But, like, I mean, that's does that just sort of make them even harder to guard when he's doing that? Yeah, I mean, I thought um... – I thought he had great patience in the post when he was crab dribbling. Um, and we're just not as long as we have been for the last nine years at the, at the, at the small forward spot. I mean, we, you know, we have a lot of guys six, five and, and uh, we've had six, seven and, and um, you know, that's, that's a little bit of a, of a hole in our roster right now is, is, uh, is length at the three spot. So um you know, we had it at Nevada with the Martin twins and we had it with the Dees Tony and we had it with Stan Amude. And that's a, you know, I thought that was a problem last night as well. Um, small forward defending, um, you know, Jones. And I thought it was a problem garden Stanford at the three that Jones. So Jones, Jones and Ingram, um, you know, have, have hurt us with length at, at the small forward spot. Didn't you have such a short time? Yeah, I, th I think um, you know the the look. Uh, both teams beat us, you know, the last two nights. I mean, I think it was they they both played better than we did. I've never been a part of a three game segment where you know, like North Carolina's game ended before ours. Um, we had a meeting after we got back yesterday, and then we came back and had another one. It was ten forty five by the time the guys got out of that one, so. Um, to the general fan, three hours might not sound like much, but we would have much rather been meeting at eight as opposed to, you know, 10 30 or whatever. So, that he's a star, that he, and he can take you off the bounce, hard dribble drive with his right hand in the slot, and he's a really good three point shooter. Um, so you got to play the dribble drive and you got to play, you know, the three. Um, and he was playing, I mean, second half, he was, he was incredible. Yeah. 